I guess in this video, I am going to discuss about encrypt columns in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, there is the one of word encrypt. So, what exactly encrypt word? So, by using encrypt methods, so we can convert information or data into a coding format. So, by using all this, so either it prevents unauthorized access. So, let's see. By example, so add here when I click on database, right click and here you can find the task. Now if you go add here encrypt columns, so select that, encrypt columns, now here oh, there is a wizard open, so add here this is the important point. So, al always encrypt is designed to protect sensitive information. So, this is the purpose to protect sensitive information such as credit card numbers stored in SQL Server database. And it enables client to encrypt data, in data inside client application and never reveal encryption keys to the SQL Server. So let's see at here how do we encrypt. So at here first I am going to show you the table that I am going to use. So database that is JSON and table here I am going to use EMP. So this is the records inside EMP table. Now here after so this is the wizard. Now here after let's click on next. So which table you want to select. So here you can select whatever you want. So at here going to select EMP. Now here I am going to make encryption on ID, name and address. Three columns. Now here we need to select at here. So deterministic. Okay. Now here first is deterministic. Now here let's give this one random nice. Now here after. So this is at here. This is new format. And here this is new. Let's give never. Now if you take the cursor at this point, so this column will be encrypted. And here the collation will be changed from Latin underscore general CI AI. After that it going to change at here or Latin general bin to So same. So this column will encrypted and here the collation of name and address will be changed. Now here after let's click at here next. Now here you can find only at here auto generated columns. It's fine. Now here so windows certified certificate store. This is fine and if you want then here you can use Azure. So for Azure you have to sign in on Microsoft Azure site. Microsoft site and thereafter you can use at here Azure Q Vault. Now let's use at here Windows Certificate Store. Click on Next. Now here, so while encryption, description, decryption is a process, right? This is all point at here about encryption, decryption. So at here, there is a potential for lost data. So why write operation should not be performed on a table? If write operation are performed, there is a percent potential for lost data and it is recommended to schedule the increase and discussion operation during your plant maintenance or window. Now here we have two options select how you would like to encrypt. So at here you can select at here generate PowerShell script to a run later. So here you can give at here PowerShell and script save tab and here give the file name. Now let's select at here proceed this proceed to finish. Okay, so let's click and here after verifying the chance made this wizard and here this is the server name, this is the database name, key name and here current user and here so this is applied on column ID EMP and here name and here address. So EMP is the table name table name EMP. Let's click on finish. So add here or two passed and one in progress. So performing encryption operation.
right here encryption has been done now let's uh, click on close so at here this is the records it was previous record now here after if you execute select top thousand now here you can see id name and address so at say add here after applying encryption on columns so it's now changes so add here the value was 201 now here so 201 and here the new value is this hexadecimal so add here digit character this is the combination at here now here you can find with name also so at here i think there are lots of characters hexadecimal character inside there so id and name and address all the value that has been encrypted so this is the use of encryption at here to secure the data from a database table so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you